It's time to meet another one of my friends. So without further ado, please welcome to the screen drummer, percussionist and extreme cowbell enthusiast. Yes, it is Tristan Butler, also known as T Butler Drums. Hello. Hello, hello Paulus. It's lovely to speak to you. You're looking fabulous as ever. I love, I've got shirt envy. Look at your shirt. Wow. <laughs> well, yours is actually really lovely, I think. This this, this is good. This is, it's, it's floral. It's, it's, it's what I call, me and my partner call it my salsa shirt. I, I, I only wear it for special occasions as this and salsa gigs because it's, it's got a tropical Latino vibe. <laughs> I definitely had curtains like that in the 80s. Definitely. <laughs> Intense. Well, but... you, well, you talk, did you have shag pile carpets as well? Were you a porn star with it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, just don't type in my name to Google. You don't want to see. Yeah. <laughs> don't put 80s carpet. Um, OK, a couple of weeks ago, it was a bit of a, a bit of a I had a bit of a downtime because um, I was meant to be going back to Cuba again for, for the summer. But alas, due to the whole um, the, the pandemic, I haven't been able to travel. So I've been uh, I think it's a little bit come down from going to we're meant to go to Cuba and Colombia to then Norfolk. It's, there's a little bit there's a slight difference of excitement, <laughs> excitement there instead of getting Is lovely. The salsa? The salsa gigs are not f flowing fast in, in Norfolk. In Norfolk, in Norfolk, alas, no. I, I think the most excitement I've had is I've seen a couple of pheasants. And um, <laughs> no, you joke, you joke. The most exciting thing that's happened since I've been here is some cows have escaped from a field, and we have oh, to call wow. them. It's, it's like hot fuzz. I, I it was like <laughs> you know, it's just the one actually. No, it was it's it's been. It sounds like the archers. It sounds really it, good. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready for Radio 4, just like you were talking about before we started recording. We are so remote here. It's like the, you know, every horror movie, there's like a cabin in the woods. Uh, <laughs> you know, serial, serial killers always manage to find them and, and kill everyone in the woods. That's where I am at the moment. So. <laughs> so this cabin in the woods, if you open the door, is it just you and a pheasant with you plucking it? Is that what's going yeah. on? Basically, yeah. If you took a Google Images, you know, picture of... Of, of our house at any time. There's you know a number of countryside things happening, people burning rubbish. Global warming doesn't exist out here. It's <laughs> not in Norfolk. Oh no, okay. <laughs> not in Norfolk. Oh, no. Why oh, are God. you um, tell me about your extreme cowbell cowbell enthusiasm? I, I'm very oh, intrigued. Good. And my 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 partner and I have had a bit of a um uh, she thinks I like cowbells a little bit too much to the extent that there's a factory in Colombia and she found out the only reason I wanted to go to Colombia was to go to a cowbell factory. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, her and I made a deal. She was like, okay, every cowbell you buy, you've got to take me to the beach. I was like, <laughs> all right, it's a deal. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, you are probably the only Englishman in his 20s that's thinking about cowbells when the word Columbia is being said, mate, I tell you. <laughs> but it's very true. Listen, I've got three questions for you. Are you ready for your first? I am so ready for my first. Tristan Butler, also known as T Butler Drums, uh, what is your recollection of our first meeting? Our good friend Jordan Clark was the one that introduced us and he, he, he'd been raving about you for a couple of weeks saying, oh, it's fantastic new artist I'm working with, you know, I really want you to get involved. And that's when I got an email from you. And Jordan said, it's kind of like cabaret, but it, it's, you know, it's a little bit more serious. We're writing this stuff. And, and as a musician, I've done quite a lot of cabaret before. And, and, and normally it's, you know, you, you you're in a you're in a, a dungeon somewhere in Soho, set out your drum kit in the side of a lot of egotistical people with feather bowers who just try and sing their favourite show tunes and all my job is to try and interpret their squawks and to not get killed by feather bowers. So, you know, that's 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 my idea of cabaret. And um, I was like, Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And um, and then but when emailing you, um, uh, I was like, it's very professional, you know, things about start times and you know <laughs> I was, I was I was amazed it was like a, you know I, was, I couldn't I couldn't quite work it out I was like this is this, this man's intriguing he seems to be a professional cabaret artist I, I, I there is a thing it. there is such a thing yeah <laughs> heard of it before and then anyway we we and then you gave me your address and, and um Gypsy Hill and I hadn't heard of Gypsy Hill and I was like oh god it's going to be some trailer park somewhere in the in, in you know in London I'm going to turn up and there's going to be you with a washboard sitting outside who likes singing gypsy songs. I also have a pheasant I'd like everyone to know I also have a pheasant. <laughs> so alas I, I turned up with some trepidation and turned up to a wonderful part of the world and was welcomed into such a lovely house and offered croissants and coffee. <laughs> My 
you had a lovely cat, lovely house I set up in your living room and we rehearsed and the mu music you took it so seriously and the music was wonderful and and I remember at the half time we had a little break with more middle class little snacks and and your cat <laughs> to my bass drum it was a it was a wonderful it was a wonderful day so that was that whole day was quite something quite special so um and then we did a tour and then you know it was oh we, we had, did we Jordan really Clark and you and I and Petru Kotacha on the violin we uh, did the world's smallest tour of the country the world's smallest venues <laughs> and the world's smallest venues yeah, I think yeah the, absolutely yeah well, we're definitely doing more and it's now called Building Paulus I don't think you've been told that have you I haven't building so is it is it about is it it's not the same it's not the same structure is it it is the same it's, it's kind of the same but yeah for anybody that's seen the show Paulus Beta or Paulus Beta which which you played for that's been morphed into building Paulus that's now officially called and, the, and that song is now the the signature song well, our question to Tristan Butler is what are you doing to keep creative at the moment well, um, I've got I've been a couple of things. I've brought all of my instruments back with me, which um, I don't even know is I've got quite a large collection of percussion well, instruments. I, I, I've seen you, your portable amount of sticks and brushes and things like that. That is unsurpassable, I think. The <laughs> amount that gets unrolled like a, hair, a mobile hairdresser is just <laughs> astonishing to me. Um, so if, if the rest of your kit is anything like that, then it's going to be, you yeah. know, vast. So it's, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, the amount of sticks you have times that by 10, that's the amount of instruments you've got to have to, for the sticks to play. So, yeah. So, um, so I've been bringing that back um, to where we are on the farm here and I've been doing quite a lot of recording for people, um, which has been really nice to try and connect, connect with different projects. And I've been asked to work with uh, different people. There's something being broadcast on uh, BBC Two, I think, for the for the yeah, cricket, um, the Cricket World Cup. There will be in a virtual orchestra before that and all that kind of oh, stuff. Cool. A way, a way of a way of just again highlighting the fact that musicians are still alive and out there and struggling. <laughs> anything, yeah. anything we can do. On, yeah. <laughs> <Hey! laughs> so um, yeah, that's been that's been that's been great. Um, the recording's been slightly fun, obviously, because. In London, I've got my kind of studio set up, so it's you know the quality is really good. And here, I've got to try and you know, you know, get if the cows are wandering past or there's a pheasant clucking in the corner, I've got to kind of like time my whatever I'm recording to these nature sounds. It's like it's like basically recording percussion as well as a kind of David Attenborough documentary at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's amazing. It's I been love a that. <laughs> and your third question, Tris, is what are you looking forward to doing that you can't do at the moment? Oh, God. Do you want the short list or the long list? <laughs> uh, what's the short one, to be frank? <laughs> um, well, basically, it's getting back in the city and seeing people because, again, being rural here, I, I haven't seen many other homo sapiens. And um, and doing 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 gigs with other people and you know just having coffee and and seeing seeing gigs seeing live theatre you know I, I really miss that buzz of the city the internet out here is shite so <laughs> it really is so, you know I've had to tell everyone to stop using any devices just so I can have this chat. It's, oh, it's... I'm honoured. Well, uh, don't forget, guys at home, to press the subscribe button for more like this. Now, sadly, Tristan won't be with me next time, but I will see you all next time. If we're saved. Ah, Tristan Butler. I love you loads. Thank you so much. Look forward to working with you again soon. Bye. Take care. Ciao.